Hi there. I'm coming at you today to talk to you about literature and cinema. It's a senior course that you are senior has survived high school and made it to. So congratulations on that. That's no small feat in and of itself. So this year, I'm going to have your student for one semester because the senior English classes are all only a single semester long. Uh, this first semester, they've got literature and cinema with me. Uh, in this class, we're going to be reading a variety of novels, and then we are going to be comparing and contrasting those novels with their cinematic partner. We're going to watch some movies, essentially. Uh, we're going to be reading three different novels. Our novels start off with... Um, we're either, well, I'm going to actually let the kids decide what order we do these in. So start off as a strong term. But we're going to be reading Divergent by Veronica Roth. We're going to re be reading Twelfth Night by um, Shakespeare, William Shakespeare. It's a play. It's a comedy. It's good for them to read. They haven't had any Shakespeare since their freshman year. And so it's, it's good to get them immersed back into that just a little bit, just in case, you know, they go off to college or they need some witty cynicism in their life. Perfect. Uh, we're also going to be reading Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. So as I said, we're going to read those books, and then we're going to be watching the films. We're going to be doing some, some comparing of what was comparable. Why did they make these decisions to have this character do this? What was the, the character arc like? Did it change? Was it modified? Were the main themes consistent across the two uh, uh, different formats? We're going to be doing some... A little bit of writing this year, not a ton of writing. We're going to do a character analysis and a thematic analysis at the very least. We'll also do some reflective writing, just small things. I like to do uh, every once in a while, like Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays maybe, we'll do a little bit of reflective writing where I'll say, write 150 words about this topic. Tell me how you feel about this in 200 words or less. And that's, that's pretty good for the kids to start to really reflect on who they are and what their opinions are. We'll also have some circle discussions and just a lot of discussions in general in the class, not just about the curriculum, but also about world topics, just so they can, you know, they can use their voice and they can hear from their peers and maybe build a little empathy in that way. Um, as far as homework goes, there shouldn't be a ton. We're going to have a little bit of reading, maybe. I guarantee that I will never give them more than 20 pages to read at night. I try not to give homework at all, but sometimes with novels, it just becomes a necessity because of time crunches. And I try to usually give less, like 15-ish, but sometimes it'll broach the 20 mark. I will never give more than 20, and that won't be over a long span. Like, we're not going to do five days a week of 20 pages. That's... That's just me. So I, I promise that I will not do that. Um, the main thing you need to know about senior English is that ninth, 10th and 11th grade, we're preparing kids to get ready for the SAT and we're teaching them analytical skills uh, where you're really focused on the text and the content. Now, as a senior, I want the main focus to be on them. They've moved past the SAT. They should already have those skills of analyzing things. I want them to focus on themselves, start to figure out who they are, how they fit into their own society, how they can live a more fulfilling life. And somehow we're going to do that by extrapolating themes and universal truths from films and from books. And it's going to be really cool. So that's what this class is. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns for me, I'm always here. Feel free to email me. My email address is J-O Fisher, that's F-I-S-H-E-R, at FHPS.net. Reach out to me, say hi. If you've got any questions about your kids, anything whatsoever, email me anytime. I'll respond to you as quickly as I can, typically within 24 hours. I think that's all I've got for you. So you guys have a great year. Enjoy this ride. You know, you have worked just as hard in a lot of cases, sometimes harder, than these kids are to get here. This You only get senior year once. So you as a parent enjoy it too, okay? Make that promise to me. I will see you hopefully in person for parent-teacher conferences, maybe, and uh, take care. I'll see you soon, hopefully.